bonds.ph How to cash in in bonds.ph And kung bago ka sa channel na to and gusto mo pa ng mga tutorial videos na katulad nito, please click the subscribe button. So sa previous video namin, pinakita namin kung paano mag-register sa bonds.ph and paano din kumpletuhin yung verification process. And ngayon na-receive ko na yung email from bonds.ph about my account na fully verified na account ko. So pwede na raw akong bumili ng bonds sa bonds.ph. Pero bago ako makabili ng bonds, kailangan ko munang mag-cash in sa bonds.ph na app. And yun yung gagawin natin sa video na to. So dito sa cellphone ko, I'll tap this bonds.ph. And enter ko lang dito yung PIN ko. So ito na yung bonds.ph ko. Um, ang cash balance ko ngayon is 0 peso. So kailangan magkaroon ng laman itong cash balance ko bago ko mabili itong pre-selling na RTB24. Uh, by the way, yung bonds kasi hindi siya laging available. Depende lang kung may nag-offer. Lalo kung yung government is nag-offer ng uh, bonds sa public. Um, ang sabi nung uh, bonds.ph, mag-reflect daw yung mga offers dito sa app nila. So maganda na mag-install pa ng bonds.ph para mag-updated ka sa mga offers na meron about government bonds. So, proceed tayo. I'll tap this cash in. And merong iba't ibang ways para makapag-cash in dito sa bonds.ph. Pwede yung Paymaya, pwede through Bitcoin, pwede Gcash, or pwede rin to any bank or from any bank using either Instapay or Pesonet. So, experience ko in the past, pag nagtatransfer ako ng pera, yung pag-transfer via Instapay, mas mabilis siya. Real-time yung pag-transfer. So, yun yung susubukan natin ngayon. At kung mapapansin nyo, um, yung fee dito for Instapay and Pesonet is 0 pesos. Ibig sabihin, free yung pag-transfer. While for Gcash, uh, medyo namamahalan ako sa transfer fee ni Gcash. It's uh, 3%. Ang minimum kasi na pwede mong i-transfer sa bonds.ph or ang minimum na pwede mong i-cash in dito sa bonds.ph is 5,000 pesos. At kung 5,000 i-cash in mo dito, ang magiging charge niya for a 3% uh, processing fee is around 150 pesos. So, for me, nalalakyan ako doon. So, uh, pwede nyo itry yung ibang option. Pero kung gusto nyo yung Gcash pa din, okay lang din naman. So, ang gagawin ko ngayon is via Instapay. For cash in amount, magalagay ako dito ng 5,000 pesos. Kung napapansin nyo, meron ditong minimum cash in total amount is 5,000 pesos. So, hindi pwedeng bumaba sa 5,000 yung ika-cash in mo dito. So, 5,000. Convenience fee is 0 pesos. Total cash in is 5,000 pesos. So, walang additional charge. And sabi dito sa bandang baba is yung amount na kinash in mo will be added to your cash balance. So, I'll tap next. Cash in transaction reference ID. So, meron ditong reference ID. So, ang process para makapag-cash in is para ka lang nagbabank transfer sa ibang bank accounts. So, katulad dito, magka-transfer ako sa Union Bank of the Philippines. Yung name na pagka-transferan ko is uh, Fintegrate Incorporated. And yung account number is itong account number na to. And yung type is checking account. And for step 2 naman, after ko magawa yung transaction or yung pag-transfer ng pera dito sa account na to, sa Union Bank, kailangan ko mag-send ng screenshot. So, yun yung gagawin natin. So, close ko muna to. So, ngayon magka-transfer na ako ng pera to Union Bank and later on, i-attach ko yung uh, confirmation or screenshot ng uh, transaction dun sa bonds.ph. And I'll tap this video mobile app and mag-log in ako gamit yung video user ID ko and password. And buti na lang meron na akong online account with BDO. Kung wala ka pang account or online account with BDO, meron kami ginawang video on how to enroll to BDO Online Banking. You may click this i button to check that video. And I'll tap send money. And tap this to another local bank. And I'll go ahead and proceed without a template. A first time ko transfer sa Union Bank, so I'll tap continue. And for transaction type, uh, choose ko credit to other bank. Transfer from, piliin ko dito yung account na panggagalingan ng pera, which is yung savings account ko. And yung amount is 5,000 pesos. For destination account number, scroll up ko lang to. For destination account number, um, balikan ko yung copy ko sa bonds.ph. So, 005900. So, tap natin is 005900. I think it's S87829, tama ba? 
1.7285. And for, uh, by the way, for Destination Bank, nakalimutan ko, kailangan piliin ko muna siya. So, piliin natin yung Union Bank. Union Bank of the Philippines via Instapay, yes. And it's asking for last name, first name, middle initial. However, wala akong info nung complete name. Ang meron lang is yung company name. So, lagyan natin to ng integrate. So, for mobile number, um, walang mobile number na nakalagay dito. Purpose of transaction, uh, funding, uh, for template name, ibig sabihin gusto ko siyang i-save as template para next time kung gusto ko man mag-transfer dito is uh, nakasave na siya sa video. UVP bonds dot ph Hindi na siya kasha so I think may limit na sa characters. Template description, uh, bonds And I'll tap confirm. Receiver's last name is report. Uh, last name is since company to hindi sa individual or private individual na ka name. Ilalagay ko na lang pareho para sure. And tap ko yung confirm. Initial. So, please confirm the following uh, details. So, 5,000 yung amount. And the service charge is 0 pesos, which is pabor sa ating lahat. And scroll up po lang. Yung destination account number is uh, 00590087289. So, double check po lang ulit. 87289. 87289 yung dulo. So, tama naman. And I'll tap the continue. And sabi dito, money sent successfully. So, mahalaga na i-screenshot natin tong part na to. Kasi ito yung mag-serve as proof na nag-transfer nga tayo from BDO to Union Bank. And ito yung i-attach natin later on sa bonds.ph. So, na-attach ko na siya. And balik ako sa bonds.ph. So, I'll tap continue. Bank reference number. Medyo mahaba-haba yung reference number. MABN991. So, na-double check ko na tama na yung reference number. And for uh, and for the deposit slip, uh, browse ko yung file. And then, allow ko to para ma-access niya yung photos ko. And ito siya. So, na-attach na natin. And scroll up ko lang. And continue. And sabi dito is, uh, it may take 1 to 3 business days to confirm your deposit. So, hihintayin pa natin yung deposit na yun. And after nun, dapat mag-reflect na siya sa cash balance natin. And then, pwede na tayong bumili ng um, bonds through bonds.ph. And that's it. Sa next video natin, ipapakita natin kung paano na bumili ng bonds through bonds.ph. And sana nakatulong tong video na to. Please let us know by clicking the like button. And pwede nyo rin i-share tong video na to, especially kung alam nyo pwede tong makatulong sa ibang tao. And post na rin kayo ng comments sa baba kung may naisip pa kayo ibang topics na pwede namin i-share online. And this is Lou from Invest Library. Until next time, bye-bye!